Day 19. Oh. No, day 18. I think day 18. We'll check it. You just it. said 18. <laughs> day 18. Sorry. I'm trying to speed forward. I don't know. Uh, we're heading from Siler Bald Shelter today to uh, Waya Bald Shelter. Still about an eight mile day. Uh, we're Lots excited. Lots of bald shelters. Lots of bald. It should be the buddy bald shelter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned. We're heading north. So we're getting ready to wrap up this morning and head out. Thought I'd give you guys a view of the shelter we stayed at, the Siler Ball Shelter. Look at that view, yay, yay. Um, hold four extremely comfortably. Can probably pack six in in bad weather. We did have a tenter last night, uh, Sierra and her dog Piper. Uh, unfortunately, Piper wanted to get out this morning and ripped a hole in our tent and <laughs> came up to visit us. Uh, that's the south. Uh, trail there and then the north trail goes that way so depending on which way you come in you want to go out that way but uh we are planning on seven and a half today to waya bald and the view is supposed to clear up and be partly sunny so we might have some good views Today is one of those weird days where we're having one of those weather rainy starts. It's supposed to clear up after 10. I mean, it is, uh, sorry, it's 9.09 .09 right now. But they're saying it was going to clear up and be partly cloudy and almost hit 50 today. And I'm waiting to see that <laughs> right now. We're in rain jackets and uh, just trying to, trying to stay dry for a little bit. But had a great day yesterday. It was about a seven and a half miles of mostly up, a little bit of down, getting to Siler Bald, and then we met. The to the we did a what? We a to the oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Getting down to the Siler Bald shelter is like a 0 .4, 0 .5 down, and which means to start this morning <laughs> we did a 0 .4 or 5 back up. Um, I was hoping that the weather would have been clear. Siler Bald is a 360 view where you can stand up there and just do a circle and just see for miles and miles. But we decided not to take the side trail there because this is kind of what a 360 would look like. <laughs> and at the top of a bald, uh, we would have no view. So oh, the white blaze. So we decided not to take that extra step off. But um, we got into camp, I guess it was probably like 2.30 or so. We weren't rushed. And uh, it was a little chilly, so we got our camp set up. We met another hiker there, Sassafras Jim. He was already there. He stayed with us the night before at uh, Chicken Sunsets as well. And then probably a couple of hours later, another girl, Sierra, and her dog Piper came in. Um, it's kind of neat to see a dog on the trail, honestly. Like, we, uh, we were kind of like, oh my gosh, something, something besides a, a random human. But uh, it was kind of neat, and uh, she stayed there. Piper hung out, they had dinner. And then she set up her tent. And then this morning, I think it was about 6.30, we heard the dog barking. And we heard um, Sierra going, Piper, Piper. The dog either heard something outside or needed to use the bathroom and ripped a hole in the side of the tent to get out and figure out whatever needed to be done outside. So uh, bummer for her. She's either going to have to replace the tent or do a major repair. I, I didn't see the hole, so I... I can't speak to it, but, uh, you know, we'll probably see her down the road a little bit. She's a fairly, um, in shape and a good hiker. So but other than that, we're going to chew up some miles today and get down the road. Looking forward to getting into the knock. Uh, today is Friday. And so tomorrow's a big day, uh, on Saturday. And then Sunday would be about a six mile into the knock. And we just can't wait to be there. We've got a private cabin. A little rustic one we looked at the pictures online it has a hot tub in it so we're like what we're gonna actually get some time in a hot tub on trail this is just doesn't seem real so anyway figured i'd check in heading north
get a chance to see many leaves at this time of year. It looks like these are hanging around from last year. Golden. Golden. Figured we'd give y'all a shot of this too, but kind of neat. And then into like a mossy forest. <laughs> AT doesn't really disappoint very often, even in the bad weather. People keep saying, you know, the worst day on the AT is better than the best day in the office. Look at this. It's crazy. Let's zoom in and see if we can... Yeah, there we go. Look at all that. We got about a month before everything starts greening out and I cannot wait. Spring is my favorite time of year. Good Lord. <laughs> hydration i'm also doing crackers i got a little fun size snickers i got a, lot, a little hydration as well i know people are asking like what we're kind of doing oh and a beef stick with cheese that's some high cuisine right there so uh people ask kind of what we do with a snack and <laughs> easy jiggly <laughs> we um we usually hack about two hours take about a 10 minute break get a snack get some hydration and then move on. So uh, looking forward to that Snickers. See ya. Looks like the sun is breaking. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's the road to Wyabald. This is the trail to Wyabald. Don't tell me that the thought didn't cross many a hiker's mind to hop on that bad boy. Steady incline, no steps. <laughs> look at that. You think she's filming? What's she filming over there? Let's go zoom in. <laughs> but uh, the sun is starting to peak out though. I know you can't see it yet, but it did lighten up. And I think we're gonna take these rain jackets off soon because I am, a, it's like a sauna inside this jacket. <laughs> so anyway, let's get after it. Let's go. Almost walked past this place, but uh, my buddy Sassafras Jim, he's dropping poles. He's like, quit filming and get moving, buddy. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm getting ready to do film on my own. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing though. I love walking through stuff like this. And we've had these brown leaf trees, almost golden. It looks like they keep the leaves from autumn and only the bad weather peels the leaves off of it. but. Let's take a picture of those, but look at this. It even extends down below the trail. Just absolutely beautiful. Let me back it up and show you a perspective view. There we go. Good Lord, heading north. So you pop out of the woods right by that little sign, right where Sierra and Piper are coming out at. <laughs> and then the AT actually crosses right by this green trash bin. Um, but there's only a short walk up to the fire tower, so... We're gonna take y'all up there and then do a little filming. Pretty neat to check out all the mountains here, but um, down here is the next place that we're worried about getting to. Not worried about, but the next place we have a milestone. So we've got um, the knock coming. We've got uh, Fontana Village coming and then uh, Smokies, but we also have Clemens Dome that we're really looking forward to. So somewhere out in the distance hidden behind the clouds.
lot I love about coming down a hill, turning the corner on a hairpin, and seeing your home for the night. Get to take the shoes off, put on the camp shoes, and relax for a little bit. Although, I think there is a short walk for water, like a point one or something like that, but uh, we'll figure out how to handle that. But for now, I can get out of the hiking clothes and get into warm clothes. Tonight's supposed to dip down to 28, so we'll be sleeping with all of our electronics and our water filters tonight. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll update you in the morning, let you know how things went.